We got involved in high, with High Lifeline through my oldest daughter, Lisa. They started this food program on Sundays, and they needed more volunteers. They needed more people. So our whole family started going. They just started out to be me and one other girl. We helped at like five families. Every single week, we'd bring produce to their house. And then by the end of 12th grade, we started helping like 30 families. And I hear that now that my sister's in charge is more, we help like 50 families a week. And I just set out the boxes and the labels and make sure all the volunteers come. Everybody's happy and everybody's there working together. I teach them like how much fruit to give them, what type of fruit, apples, oranges, peppers, cucumbers, squash, lettuce. I, don't, I can go through different types of lettuces. Every family fights to get the best fruit and the best vegetables for their family. And then we go out and everybody delivers it to the families. Anywhere from uh, Miami Beach to Boca Raton, rich neighborhoods to poor neighborhoods. I think it's amazing how much it's grown and how much we help the families and how much they appreciate it. Just seeing the smile on their faces when you bring it to them is is a, just something that you, that you always remember. I love him, that's a tremendous job. Within Judaism, it's instilled in all of us to want to help each other. And when you see someone struggle, you feel the pain in yourself that you are struggling with them. High Lifeline is important because they come together and they bring the volunteers to go to the families, to go to their houses, to play with the kids, to make it a little bit easier on them. Yeah, I'm very proud of my family for doing all these great things. My parents are great role models. I've watched my mom over the years. She's been a volunteer for every organization. And same with my dad. Usually parents teach children. In this particular case, our children actually taught us. I really have to thank Aliza, Ronit, and Ariel for involving me in their chesed project for High Lifeline. You know, we always pray that the list of kids who will be sick will become smaller, but unfortunately it's getting larger. And we need all the help we can get so we can help these families and be there in the time of need.